Okay, it's practically empty. No one in here, but it's weird. This is very strange. During the week, it's usually more empty than the weekends, but it's never ever this empty. It's like a dessert, it, there's hardly anyone in. So I'm gonna do my best to record what I can. I'm only, I'm only out here for like an hour or two <coughs> to get some stuff for Mother's Day, but this is very strange. I don't like it. I'm walking past the cost I usually go to and there's hardly anyone in. Like, it is practically empty. As you can see, there is hardly anyone in. Because the coronavirus is taking over. But the boys are still behaving well, and that's all I care about. Because, oh my goodness, it is empty today. But you're being good at miss this virus, aren't you? You're a good boy, but... But grief, it is weird. So... Go right. Good boy, it is literally deserted. And I don't like it. <laughs> oh well, less stress for me. Okay, we've arrived at the shop where we're gonna go. We're gonna get some Mother's Day stuff. And there's no one in here. Absolutely no one. Oh my goodness. Ooh, there's some bandanas. So we've got the stuff in here. And I'm looking to get some nice Mother's Day stuff. And I'm being quiet because I don't want to look weird. But, um, there's no one in here, except one person, and the person who works here. Chica, focus! Hey! Hey! I'll sit down then. Chica! Chica boy! Yeah, Chica boy too. Lucky, sit down! Hey! Thank you. I was expecting this, but it is just weird to see it this deserted. It's never this quiet, even during the week, but I'm gonna go get some stuff and hope for the best. Okay, we have found some absolutely lovely stuff for Mother's Day for my Nana. So I've got this Happy Mother's Day Nana card. It is lovely and I'm going to get this. And I am also, I'm just going to put Chica's leap between my knees. I'm also going to get this. It's so cute. I love it. And I think she'll appreciate it. So that's what I'm going to get. Boys are being good. So yeah, let's go bye. Thank you. Right, see you right come boys, let's go. Oh yeah. I'm not with it, am I? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good boy, come, let's go. Right, I have got the presents and I think I'm gonna go get some food because I am a hungry bean. So I'm gonna go to the Yellow Mall and get some food. Do you wanna get some food? You're not eating, I am. <laughs> I nearly forgot the presents as well, so my, my head isn't screwed on today, but I'm gonna go into the yellow mall and get some some nachos and some cookies because I'm hungry. Woo! And it's still very much deserted. We are almost there, it is still deserted. Um yeah. it's really weird. I don't like it. Good boys. Yeah. I haven't actually done a vlog in here on my own in a while because I tend not to because it freaks me out because people look at me like I'm weird. This way! Yeah, good boy! Um, but it's so deserted I just couldn't even be bothered. Um, like look, it's so empty. It's usually really full here. So I'm going to get in the lift. Good boy! I'm going to get in the lift and see what it's like downstairs usually it's really busy in this area downstairs wait so i'm gonna get in the lift and see you good boy all right we're in the lift on our own woohoo lovely club and it looks pretty deserted still even down here in the where the arcade is where it's like the busiest let's go let's go boys that's good go left go left good 
Um, I might even go into, what's it called? Um, Wilco and get some dog treats. Um, do a little bit of training because it is so deserted. But at the same time, I want to go home because I'm paranoid about this virus. Oh my goodness, it's like a ghost town. Look at this, it's like a ghost town. There's like no one even down here. This is the most packed part of this place usually. Oh my goodness. Good boy, able to walk past the escalator. He used to plant his paws before. Good boy. Oh my god. This is crazy. It is so empty. This crisis is really like... I don't even know what it's doing to people, but good lord. Let's go get a subway. Um, can I just have some nachos and some cheesy garlic bread, please? <laughs> good boys. Oh. Yes, I'm so hungry. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah. Food, food, glorious food, and some cheesy garlic bread because it is nice. Are you liking the onion we have given them? Yeah. Grace is the old way, which was the microwave. Yeah, it's different. I like it. Oh, I'm, I'm so hungry. Yes, please. <laughs> hey, go back. Good boy, come turn. Good, let's sit. Good boy. Right, Chico, stand. Good, come forward. Good boys. All the way. Down there with some friends. Oh, yeah. And all, and all two old ladies walk past. Yeah. I've seen about the dogs and your friends screaming there. I love temporary dogs. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like I love it how my friends are so understanding. My friend was just like, my friend's just like, can you like, please like, not do that? <laughs> He was like straight in. I'm like, yes, Noah. It was mint. I liked it. Now being really good today. I've only I um I popped in to get some Mother's Day stuff and I was hungry, so I came and got some sub something from Subway. Come here, Baba. Good boy. Come front. Come front. Front. Sit. Some people do need to be told. Yeah, some people do. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm. Keep I do that. Just I know, like people, people seem to like they read the do not pet patch. We don't know if you and they're been like, there, but your friend was doing a good enough job of his own. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Literally. It, to me, it's a form of bullying. It is for and me. I, I take offence to it because it. It's I like. Took offense for you. Would you? Would like if someone saw like a wheelchair with cool wheels? Would you be like, oh my god, look at the wheelchair. Look at how cool it is. Look at it. Do you want to go and touch it? Like I know it's a dog, but a I know it's Not a. Being exactly. Sense. That annoys me as well. Chica, leave it, good boy. <laughs> it's when it's when people read the do not pet patch and they're like, oh, I'm not gonna touch it, but they, then they start talking to them in like a baby voice. I'm like, you're still distracting my dog. Don't do that. Two ninety-eight there for you. Yeah. Have a note because I don't have any more money on me. Right. It's so frustrating. I was watching, don't you worry. Good. I mean, like, I actually, one day I came in here just to sit down with the dogs and record how people were, thank you. I mean, I ask out of curiosity, but I would never, I've got a husky and he's not, oh. like, he's just a pet. Yeah, yeah. But I don't expect people to come up, even though he's, he's just a puppy in a big dog's body. But right, <laughs> Attitude, he just likes to play. Yeah. I don't expect people to just walk up and open I mean, what about asking for the asking for cover? Exactly. My dog does not know you. Don't touch. Exactly. Even Would if you it's go a pet. Up to a human and 
start stroking Exactly. Them, it's like me going up to a child and saying, like, it's me. It's like me going, oh, look at the child, yeah. going petting them. Like, you wouldn't yeah. do that. It's a child. You'd get... Like it's it's disrespectful, so don't do it to even if it's not a working dog. Don't you go do up, anything. you go up and ask. You go up and ask. Like you don't know if that dog could turn around and bite you. Yeah. So even if it's not working, especially like if it has me, a big do not pet I patch on. Make my dog sit. Yeah, I do that. Because like, my other than my dogs house, have a release command. But, but other than outside of the house, I'd, I prefer my dog to be sat. Yeah. So other people aren't intimidated because he's quite a big dog. Exactly. So I mean, even with them being small, up, it's not the, it, it doesn't matter yeah. on size. It's like, no, do you know what it is? I've trained my dog. This is what he's supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. Please don't think it's in your head. You can do whatever you want. It's exactly. It's like when people see a dog, they think they have the right to go and touch it. And I'm like, no, it's not your dog. Like, you don't know what that dog's temperament is. You don't have a clue yeah. about that dog. So leave it alone. Sense. And it's what what I like so much is when people talk to me and ignore my dogs. Like, um, because I was visiting my nana in the hospital on Sunday. She's out now, but um, she was in the RVI. But I couldn't actually go in with them. Yeah. So me and my granddad went, and we and there was like a waiting area outside. So like we swapped over. Um, and the time when he went in the second time, I was sat down playing a game on my computer, and three nurses saw them. And they talked to me and completely ignored them. And that's what I like. It's respect. And, like, they weren't, like, in their face. They weren't touching them. They weren't talking to them. They were talking to me. And that's what I like. Just pe- it's, just, it's adults. It's adults. It's grown-ass adults that are like, oh, my God. I've had some kids educate their own parents. It's that. it's laughable. Yeah. It is really laughable. I bet you can see it all, do you? Oh yeah. <laughs> I literally I sat down once and made a like a full full YouTube video about how people treat someone with an assistance dog. And at one point, I had a man stand in front of me for about two minutes and just stare at me and my dogs. And I'm like, please keep walking. I'm scared. My point was, you had your back against because I know exactly where you were. You yeah. had your back against, against that pillar. Yeah. You, you, the friends were sat on the end yeah. you were in that aisle where are oh yeah I mean, always make sure to stay out the way yeah. in anybody's way and I mean quite frankly you swim less in the way than what the normal teenagers are oh yeah they're always like shouting on oh god on. it does my head in less in the way exactly there. and she went out of her way because she went yeah Purposely. Because I sometimes, I sometimes like, I can, talking? sometimes I can say like don't, and sometimes like I just like freeze and like I go non-verbal so I can't speak. Yeah. And my friends know that, so they were like, no well, touchy. That guy, that little lad, hard hit your back. Yeah, it was great. I love it. I love coming <laughs> out with them. Like, and I will not I forget this this time. <laughs> you just get something. I went into handpick. I nearly forgot to take to take the thing I bought with me. <laughs> Brain's not screwed in today. See you later, Rachel. Bye. Bye. Oh, can I possibly have a bag? You can. Chico, you good? I love how they're just lying here as well, not causing a problem. It's like when I go into Costa, you know the one in next? That's the kids that cause more problems than you would Oh, yeah. I've had, I mean, I've had kids in their face screaming yeah. at them, and I'm like, no. <laughs> exactly. People just don't know how to have respect anymore, do they? I'm so glad, honestly, I'm so glad that this virus is making people this worried because I can come out and not worry about people in my face all the time. It's like a ghost town, it's really freaky, but I like it at the same time because it's not as crowded. Are you a good boy? True. Yes. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to go and eat this before it gets cold. And you will, knowing, knowing me, because I come in here a lot, unless it goes on lockdown, I will probably be back next week. <laughs> I will, I come I'll in here all the time. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> right, up, up. Right, thank you. Bye. Have a good day. And you. Okay, I've got my food, and we're gonna go sit in our normal spot. Um. Oh. <laughs> Lucky you, monkey. Oh, your ear. Oh, your ear, baby. No. Save the ear. Right, come turn. Come forward. Good boys. Um. That worker was so nice. Um. I see her quite often. So that's another reason why I love going to that subway and not the other one. Because I go to there so often that she knows me. 
and she she understands all about assistance dogs and how disrespectful it is to distract them. So I'm gonna go sit down here in our normal spot and eat my food because woohoo. Just just dropping in here as well before I start eating. My dog doesn't care. Leave it. Good boy. Just testing you. But um, this garlic bread is so good. It's cheesy garlic bread. Now I usually don't like cheesy garlic bread, but cheesy garlic bread from Subway, I'd kill for it. You're not getting any, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> Another appreciation about my dog's training. There's an open box of nachos here, and they'd just rather lie down and cuddle and nap and rest while I eat. No. Oh, sorry, did I scare you? Oh, I'm sorry, Bibby. Oh, I scared him. Oh, I'm sorry. No, they're still so good. Like, ugh, I just love them. My inner fat girl called out to me. So I went back and got three cookies. And I don't regret it in the slightest. Okay, thankfully no one so far has bothered us. Um, no one has been like, oh, look at the dog. Well, actually, um, one, pe one family has. But um, they ignored me eventually. Um, no one has come over and asked to pet them. I think it's because it's so dead. Oh, good boy. You a good boy? But I think it's because it's so dead that no one's bothering because I don't think anyone wants to actually approach anyone while this coronavirus thing is going around. I certainly don't want anyone touching my dog because I don't want to get their germs on my dog. And then I have to touch my dog. And because of my low immune system, I pick everything up and I don't want to die. You do good boy, can I have a kiss? Can I have a smooch? Can I have a smooch? Hey, Chica. Excuse me, I don't need I don't need pressure. I I asked for a kiss. Thank you. But yeah, um I am gonna eat these cookies like my inner fat girl has told me to. I get three because I'm a fat bitch. Isn't that right, Chica? <laughs> So I'm gonna go do that and then see whatever the hell else I want to do while I'm in here. While I've been sat here, I've just realised that the new thing in here, um, over there, has a sign on, probably saying that it's shut for however long. But what sucks is the metronomes are supposed to be coming out in the next half term, which is in April. Um. But even then, I don't know if they'll actually be doing the show because of the virus, because it's a show and it's like a crowd of people. Um, but I'm going to go and have a look what this sign says because I'm curious and I want to know what it is and what it says. Because it looks to me like it's shut. And this shop over there, Therapy, is also like half shut. I think there are some shops in here that are shut, but um, this sucks. Oh, you're adjusting your head, are you? He's not like tasking, he's just cuddling right now. Like, I feel perfectly fine right now because um, it's so empty in here, so I'm fine and I'm loving it. So I'm just gonna go and check out what that sign says. Okay, so we're gonna go check the sign out. Um, following advice from the Prime Minister issued yesterday to avoid all unnecessary social contact, we have taken the difficult decision to close Dimension X Dinosaurs and Robots until further notice. We thank you for your patience, whatever, whatever, whatever. That sucks, because this has just come in. And it's going to leave soon, I think. Um, and that really sucks. But precautions. Right, I'm going to go into the bathroom, or the toilet as we call it. Um, but I doubt people are going to want to see that. So I'm just going to go and then I'll finish recording when I'm out. Okay, so the bathroom trip is done. Um, oh, what is the screen doing? Oh, I don't know what my screen was doing. Um, but I'm going to go head home now because I'm getting anxious about being out in this virus. With this virus around. So, fun times.
and I don't like it. But we are going to just go home because I'm getting anxious and I don't want to die. So I'm going to go get the bus and hope for the best. The lift's out of order. And we have to get the escalator. So lucky it's in my arms. Wait. Okay. Good boy. Seeing how we ride the escalator. It's always make him jump at the end. I'm praying I don't drop what I'm holding when I make him jump. Are you ready, Chico? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Go jump. Good boy. Good jump. Oh, stressful. More stressful than it should be, huh? See that lift out of order, so we had to get the escalator. Lucky, you're a heavy dog. You're a good boy. Okay, as you can see by this big old sign, we are on our way out and we're going to go at the bus station because I'm dying. Um, this virus is very scary. So I want to go home and because I don't want to risk myself getting it. And I'm probably going to self-isolate for a bit because... Woohoo! So we're just going to the coach park, as it's called, or the bus station. Um, I love Lucky's tail. Lucky, you good boy! His tail is the best thing. Um, I think we're going to get the escalator down um, and then see how that goes. Um, I'll see if I can record that as well. I'll probably have to pick Lucky up again because I'm still working on his fear. He's such a good boy. But he's getting better. So, let's go. You can see his little paw. I have Lucky in my arms again. And we're going to go ride the escalator. Because that lift is not working either. And we're going to go get the bus. And I hope I manage to get him on the escalator again. She go forward. Come forward. Good boy, wait. Waiting until I feel like it's safe enough. Right, okay. Good boy. <laughs> How he stands on the escalator makes me laugh. <laughs> He's such a good boy. He's always good at jumping off the other side, though. Um, to avoid his paws um, or his nails getting caught. Um, I'm always really careful on the escalators as well. Um, making sure that he's nice and safe and that I'm safe. So I'm going to get ready to get him to jump. Ready, jump. Good boy. Good boy. Good jump. Good jump. You're so clever. I'm going to put Lucky down again because he's heavy. And wait. Oh, the bus, which is in. I've still got Lucky in my hands. In my arms, I mean. So 12 minutes past one and it is nearly one o'clock. So I have to wait for 15 minutes. And the bus will be here. Hey, good boy! Yes! Thank you. Come, come. Good boy. Tika, go find a seat. Go find a seat. Good boy. Inside. Good. Okay, we're on the bus. We are on the bus. Are we on the bus? Six. Oh, you just have to get close to me. Um, We're on the bus now. And um, we're going to go home. So... He's a good boy, yes. Yeah, as I said in my last clip, I'm on the bus and I'm gonna go home. So that should be it for my video. This bus is empty, there's two other people on here. The entire centre was empty, so. But I hope you enjoyed this video because the bus is now leaving. I hope you enjoyed this video and please tune in to see all my others. Bye! You got me feeling so good.